In Creo Parametric 11.0, the extend command has a new option called extrapolate. Let's take a look at a few examples. Here I am in a part model. I've got a surface created from a boundary blend. It's got moderate waviness. We can take a look at that by going to the analysis tab. And here is the mesh surface command. I will pick the surface itself. And now you can see about how wavy it is. Let me close out of the mesh dialog box and repaint the screen. Let's go back to the model tab. Here is the extend command. Be aware that if you are using an older version, the extend command used to be object action. In other words, you had to select an edge first before the command was available. They changed that around Creo Parametric 6 or so. Let's click on the extend command. And now I will pick an edge that I want to extend. And here's the option along original surface. Let's grab the drag handle. By the way, you'll notice that the drag handles have changed a little bit in Creo 11 and drag it out. And you can see how the surface is changing and it's bending and inflecting and getting a little ripple in there. Let me move it over once more. And if I go too far, it is even going to disappear. Right now, I am using the same option. If you go to the measurements tab, excuse me, the options tab, here are our different methods. And with same, it is going to continue the original surface beyond its boundaries. The next option that we have here is tangent. You can see that it is going to be tangent along the edge. Uh, but it's going to be less wavy than using the same option, which actually has curvature continuity along the new border. Let's go to the approximate option. And this one actually looks very much the same. With the approximate option, what it's going to do is project the edge according to this distance and then create a boundary blend to make the new surface patch. But here is the new option called extrapolate. And when we see extrapolate, you can see how it goes. And even if we extend it beyond the distance, we're not going to get as much of the inflections or folding as we did before. So let's drag it out a certain distance, and then I will hit the middle mouse button. Let's take a look at a, another example for that. I will go to this model over here. And this time I will start by selecting the edge itself. And then from the mini toolbar, here is the extend command. Let's bring open the options tab. Once again, right now we are using the same method and you can see how when we drag it out, it is essentially like falling off a cliff over here and then it disappears once it is no longer able to continue the curvature of that surface. Let's change from the same method to tangent. You can see that this ends up being much straighter than the first one. Here is the approximate option. And again, we can drag it out. And again, it is just projecting the edge a distance and then creating a boundary blend. And here is the extrapolate option. And with this extrapolate option, it's creating this new surface so that it coincides with the original surface. So it is going to be more reflective of how the original surface is, just not with the same amount of curvature as the one that you get when you use the same option. So again, there's same, and here is extrapolate. I recommend that you make a few simple surface models and see the difference between them. Let's hit the check mark once more. And you can see that we have a curve here. Let me select that and hide it for a second. And you can see that there is not a surface patch between those two surfaces. Let's take a look at one more example. Let me go to this part over here. And for this one, I'm gonna start out by selecting a bunch of edges. Let me select this edge. I will hold down the Shift key and select this one, and then grab this one over here as well. Then I will use the uh, extend command from the mini toolbar. Let's drag this out. You can see the new resulting surface that we are getting with the same option. You'll notice that because we have a patch in the original underlying surface, we have a patch over here, but even though we have these other two edges, we're not getting a patch 
in the new intermediate surface for the extend command. And if we go to tangent, well, you can see that we get some surface patches over here. Let's go to the approximate option. Once again, you can see that we are getting these patches. And here is the new extrapolate option. We're not getting the patches, but we're having less curvature than if you are using the same option. They look pretty close, but you can see how they end up twisting a little bit as I change between them. So there you have it. That is the new extrapolate option for Creo Parametric 11.0.